Welcome back to Pentagram Prime. In today's lesson, we will be attacking an integral that I believe I first saw in Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics, although I could not safely give you the page number. Either way, this is a more general version of that integral, in this case, employing an unknown for the exponent in the denominator. Let's begin by letting u equal sine of ax giving us du dx equal to a cosine of ax and the corresponding substitution for dx in terms of du. This substitution results in a cancellation of terms in the aforementioned numerator. As always, do not go into these cancellations without some consideration of the potential zero values for these terms. We are focused on an indefinite integral here, but if this were a definite integral, then I would caution you to pay close attention to the variables that you are using so that you do not accidentally integrate over u space when you are supposed to be working with x space or vice versa. We will now employ k equal p plus q u giving us dk du equal to q and a corresponding value for du in terms of dk. Our integral now becomes a simple exponential that may be solved using power law. I've been debating whether or not to spend time warning about dividing by zero, so you'll probably see fewer red flags on screen going forward but let me know how you feel about it in the comments. And of course, let us not forget about the integration constant C, but we're not gonna dwell on it either. So just don't forget that it's there, even though we're dropping it for the purposes of notation. Moving on, we consolidate our constant on the left side of the expression before substituting back in for K in terms of U and u in terms of x. So now that <clears throat> now I have to ask, do you trust me? I wouldn't. But it might not be a bad idea to consider checking the results by taking its derivative. We will begin by pulling out the multiplicative constant before we reorient the relevant exponent to make it easier to work with. Now derivation can frequently get messy, so proper bookkeeping on such things as minus signs can mean the difference between, say, a PhD and just a miserable consolidation prize of a master's degree that precipitates multiple dead-end jobs, a descent into alcoholism, and worst of all, adoption of a faith-based recovery program. Scratch, 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 scratch. And let's not forget the exponent. Having taken the derivative of the right-hand side, we now have two more sets of variables to remove. And we're right back where we started. It's not the answer to the title problem, but I'm going to box it anyway. Thanks for watching.